I love snakes, but the fact that snakes eat rodents and I basically have to keep a package of pink very dead infant rats in my fridge just to have snakes is a bummer. So we'll be dealing with that today. Here are 7 snakes that eat insects because for some reason I am very much more comfortable feeding even live insects rather than very dead rats. I don't know why. Note that this list will include some snakes that also eat slugs and snails which are not insects and a whole different group of animals but I thought I will include them too. With that being said, you will find timestamps to the video and so that you can skip to any part that you like. But stay till the end because I will be sharing a way in which you can have your dream snake which eats rodents or lizards without having to feed rodents or lizards at all. The first snake on our list are garter snakes. Garter snakes are commonly found based in North and Central America. They are found in the gardens of people but they are quickly gaining popularity in the pet trade and for good reasons. They are a medium sized snake so they get only a little more than a meter long. They are very handleable and very very active species of snakes. They are so active that they will bask in the sun and you will see them quite often in their tank. They are also very handleable so they check all my boxes. They also like to stay in groups so you can put more than one snake in one enclosure which is not something all snakes offer. These snakes are mildly venomous that means they have enough venom to kill something like a small frog or a small bird but not to kill something something like you which is an adult grown human unless you are very sick or very old or very young. The diet of the snake usually includes rodents but if you want to substitute that you can do that you will have to feed earthworms, fishes and organ meat. For fish you can feed something like bluegill and tilapias. You can get frozen fish, thaw it and feed it to them or you can get live fish and put it in a little bowl of water so that your snake can hunt it down. It is very rewarding to see that and it's very enriching for the snake too. With that being said, so there is something to keep in mind before getting fish for your snake. Some fish contain thymines. Thymines is an enzyme, it is a known anti-nutrient. It prevents the digestion of thymine in the body of the snake. A thymine is essentially vitamin B1 and lack of vitamin B1 will lead, lead to seizures and ultimate death of your snakes. So if you are going to get fish for your snake, be sure to get it, something that is that does not contain any thymines. Also while getting frozen fish, be sure that the fish does not contain any preservatives. If you are going to remove rodents completely from your garter snake's diet then it is necessary to give them organ meat. Organ meat will include something like chicken heart and chicken livers. The second snake on our list are DK's brown snake. I saw this snake on the snake discovery channel and instantly fell in love with it. These snakes are very small up to 12 to 13 inches only. They are small but yet known to be feisty at times. They are not that handleable because they are a little feisty and also they are small and fast. They can get away with, uh, from you and you will never find them. You can also crush their bones because they are so small. They originate in North America and their diet usually consists of earthworms, snails, slugs and crickets. Snails, uh, snails in their diet provide them with calcium necessary for their bones. So if you are for some reason not going to feed snails to your decays brown snake, be sure to dust the other things like earthworm and slugs with calcium powder. If you think this snake is small then wait for the next snake, they are even smaller than this. The third snake on our list are flower pot snakes. Flower pot snakes are native over here in India and Sri Lanka. They are very small and get up to only 4.8 to 6 inches. They are essentially blind and they will spend most of their time hiding, hiding underground. They, are, they burrow themselves, they will hide under rocks and usually be inside the soil. They are not handleable because they are very small and they might also get stretched out. They are so small that a lot of the time so here they are confused with earthworms and other, other insects. But they are snakes. These for me are my least favorite snakes on this list because well they are not handleable and you cannot even see them so what's the point of having them. For me having sand boa, pac-man frogs or like this flower pot snakes is just having a box of sand or a tank of dirt. I should either be able to handle them or at least see them. But for but some people like the snakes such as sand boa so I thought I would include this snake as well on the list. 
they get their name as flower pot snakes because when flower pots or plants or just anything that contains soil was transported from India or Sri Lanka, they basically took a ride and they spread to the other parts of the world and they are, they are, they have a good population in other parts of the world now as well. Their diet mostly contains eggs, larvae and pupae of ants and termites. Now if you have a, if you have a ant colony, that might work for you but if not I don't know where on earth are you going to get eggs of termites and ants. The fourth snake on our list are ringneck snake. Ringneck snakes are also from North America. They, get, they are a fairly small snake. They are about 10 to 16 inches in length. They have a distinctive yellow colored ring around their necks which gives them the name ringneck snakes. They are a very very shy species of snakes. They usually spend their time like flower pot snakes just hiding under leaves, rocks and logs. So they hang so well that even people living in North America don't usually see them. Their diet usually consists of earthworms but depending upon the subspecies and from where the subspecies originates, they might even eat snails, slugs and crickets. The sixth and seventh snakes on our list are smooth green snakes and rough green snakes. Smooth green snakes and rough green snakes are basically same uh, just the difference is that the rough ones have a keel scale while the smooth ones don't. The rough ones also get much larger than their smoother counterparts. The rough ones get up to 22 to 32 inches in length, while the smooth ones only get up to 12 to 15 inches in length. Well, these snakes are arboreal, so they live high up in the trees, so you will have to provide with a vertical enclosure rather than a horizontal one. These snakes are also mildly venomous, just like garter snakes. Uh, they are a snake more to look at rather than handle, not because they are mildly venomous, which might be a good reason not to handle them, but, be, but mostly because they get stressed out very easily. If you handle them too often, they most probably will get stressed out, uh, they will stop eating and they will have health issues. So they are a pet to look at rather than to handle. Their diet includes caterpillars, cricket and grasshoppers. They might even eat snails, small frogs and spiders. The seventh snake on our list are egg-eating snakes. These include all the egg-eating snakes. Eggs are not insects but I thought you would like to know about the egg-eating species of snakes also. These snakes swallow the egg full. They crack it at the back of their throat and suck up all the yolk from the egg and then they spit out the, egg, they spit out the shell of the egg. So feeding them is just scattering a bunch of eggs in their enclosure. These are my second favorite snakes because they are known to be handleable and they are medium sized. Try to get a snake which is captive bred. A lot of the time these snakes are wild caught but, if, but nowadays some breeders are breeding them in captivity so if you are going to get one for yourself be sure to get a captive bred one. In eggs, females which are generally much larger than males they are, at, they are nearly twice as long as males will eat quail eggs and chicken eggs and all grocery stores have them. Males on the other hand are not that big enough and hence will only stick to quail eggs. You can also get babies of these snakes but the problem with babies is that the babies are so tiny that they can only eat canary eggs or finch eggs. Now I don't know which grocery store are you going to get canary eggs for sale. The, the easiest thing to do if you are going to keep baby egg eating snakes is to get a pair of canary or a finch and get eggs yourself or, or get in touch with a breeder or a friend who be, breeds these birds and uh, make sure that he could give you a consistent supplies of these eggs for your, for your birds. Well, let's talk about the alternative that I talked about earlier. Uh, this alternative is a product that will help you to have a rodent eating snake or a lizard eating snake or any snake without having to have rodents or lizards in your fridge. This, this product is known as Reptilink. They are not a sponsor of today's video. We don't even have enough subscribers to monetize our own video. That is why you should subscribe to the channel. Assuming that you have subscribed, Reptilinks basically make these sausages from lizards and rats and rodents for your snakes so that you can feed rats to the snake without having to look at the rat. It, so it's just more convenient and more visually pleasing to keep sausages in your fridge rather than a rat in your fridge. So yes that is it for today's video. If you like today's video give it a thumbs up, 
सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू गाइस थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग होप यू गाइस एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो